simply insane in the nicest of ways. Good evening. I'm Scott Eisberg. Most like a challenge. That could be the understatement of the year for Mount Pleasant's Robert Harum. It's not the typical way to tell the story of a race finish line before the start, but some moments worth breaking unwritten rules for. We came through town and my son ran up to me and uh, got a little emotional, not gonna lie, and have him see everything that I went through uh, definitely brought out some, some tears in me. That'll get anyone just sitting on your couch. Imagine what it felt like for Mount Pleasant's Robert Harum. It took me 38 hours and about 55 minutes. Are you sleeping at night when you do this? You don't sleep. For this race, you have 48 hours to finish the race. And if you decide to take a two or three hour nap, then that's just less time that you're moving down the trail. Two days he's waited for, dreamed of, heck, entered a lottery to get into for eight straight years. He, a lucky one, one of 146 to start. So now that we're talking about the start, let him explain what he went through this past weekend in Southern Colorado. It is a 102 mile foot race in the San Juan Mountains. And it has 33,000 feet of climbing, 33,000 feet of descending with an average altitude of over 11,000 feet. Uh, extremely rugged, technical single track trails. It's usually cliche to say over the mountains and through the woods, in this case, literal. If you add across a river and traversing a cave, you do it for yourself. You don't do it by yourself. We all consider each other family. Some things a guy from Mount Pleasant simply can't prepare for. Ultimately for the altitude, that was definitely my biggest uh, hurdle to overcome for this race. Uh, I came out to Colorado on July 5th, which was about nine days before the race, and tried to spend as much time up high as I could. So we'll end where we started, at the end. <laughs> What's next for you? When December run comes around, I'm gonna put my name back in Hard Rock for next year. Because some hugs, you can't get too many of.